Well, everyone, the AirPods 3s are probably some of the better headphones you can buy from Apple right now. So let's go and see how they still hold up in 2023. Now, funny enough, these AirPods, first of all, if you want to pick them up, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now, a big thing to keep in mind with these AirPods 3s is that they actually, you know, kind of came out back in 2021. So it's been many, many years since these things even actually came out which is actually pretty crazy because it just feels like yesterday these things actually were released. Now, the AirPods 3s are kind of hit or miss for me because personally for me, they actually do not fit in my ears that well. And so I kind of, you know, talked about this when I first got them back in 2021 and compared them against a lot of AirPods. And I noticed that when I put the AirPods 3s in my ears, they were just so thick and so big that my ears just couldn't hold them. And it was almost kind of painful to actually keep them in my ears. So if you're somebody like me who actually has smaller ear holes, well then it's really not going to be that pleasant of an experience. At least it really wasn't for me. Now, one thing I actually do like about these AirPods is pretty much actually with the capability behind them because these AirPods do bring some cool features that were kind of more tailored for the AirPods Pros, but now they bring them into these type of AirPods that don't really require the tips, which is actually kind of nice, and it's a little bit cheaper as well. So the exterior of these AirPods are pretty much the same thing as a lot of people would you know, end up getting. They look exactly the same way almost as a lot of the other AirPods, but these are almost like if the AirPods 2s and AirPods Pros like had a baby, it would almost be like the AirPods 3s, which is honestly kind of fun. So at $169, what we're rocking with is basically the normal standard case. It supports wireless charging and MagSafe charging, which is really cool. You have the lightning port at the bottom, so you can easily charge up this thing if you want to. And that is kind of it. You have the button on the back that allows you to sync this up with other devices if you want, but it's a pretty minimalistic case. There's not really any buttons on the outside besides that one in the back. So I like it. I think it's really nice and the durability of the case is actually pretty decent as well. I've used the AirPods 3s a little bit, but more so the AirPods 2s and AirPods Pros, and they hold up very well. Like, they are not cheap headphones by any means, which is honestly really nice. Now, flipping these things open, we do have the standard AirPods, like, right there. And, you know, even in this day and age, there hasn't really been too much crazy de development from Apple, meaning there's not really been any, like, cool, crazy features Apple's added for those AirPods Pros 2s that the original AirPods Pros already didn't have. Like, it's just enhancements. So I think these AirPods 3s and the tips and everything, or at least the way they look, still hold up decently well. They are smaller than the AirPods Pros 2s in terms of like the way they're actually like the length. And I think that's totally fine. I don't really think that's that big of a deal here. And I definitely do think with the AirPods 3s, these are actually pretty, you know, good feeling headphones. You know, they're definitely not cheap. And as I have mentioned before, I really do feel like AirPods are probably some of the best headphones you can buy just because they just work seamlessly inside of the ecosystem. If you already have like a Mac, if you have a MacBook, an iPad, and an iPhone, that's pretty much, you're a perfect contender of getting these AirPods because they can sync between all of those devices, which is so nice. Now, on top of the standard, you know, listening to music and whatnot that you can do on wireless headphones, you also have a few different features here. So for one, you actually do get personalized spatial audio with dynamic head tracking. So before, this was actually a feature dedicated for the AirPod Pros, but now we actually do have them for these AirPods 3s. And, you know, maybe it's gotten better throughout time, but that is another cool thing that we have here. You know, I think that was more tailored for the, those AirPods Pros at the time. But now that we have them on these devices, it's honestly a very cool thing. On top of that, these are sweat and water resistant as well. They have the H1 chip inside of it. You have, you know, Hey Siri support as well. So these are like very, very good headphones, you know, just from that standpoint, because they actually do have a lot of capability there, which is honestly really nice. Now, some things that it is missing, you know, it doesn't have noise cancellation like the AirPods Pros have, but, you know, I think that's totally fine, and I definitely do think the adaptive transparency mode that the AirPods Pros have as well, it's not that crazy thing that these things are missing it, because you can still hear around you for the most part, so it's almost like having it, except it's just kind of a byproduct of these headphones not sealing around your ear that well. Now, in terms of, like, the battery life and everything, I think Apple kind of stated these things get six hours of battery life. Because I don't really use these things at, like, six hours at a time, Usually it's like 10 minutes here, 20 minutes here, and most of the time now they're on standby because I'm not really using these too often. Most of the time these things, I could say like six hours is pretty reasonable, but I definitely do think that if you're going to want the best, you know, battery life from AirPods right now, it looks like these pretty much match these uh, AirPods Pros 2s. So you're really not going to be missing out on too much in that standpoint either. So 
to kind of sum up this video, what I'll tell you is I definitely don't think there's one that, you know, specific AirPod that I would recommend way more than the other other ones. But these AirPods, like if they fit in your ear, I would just kind of recommend keeping them or just continuing to use them. Like these are very decent headphones in that standpoint. They're definitely not perfect. You know, they don't fit in my ear that well, like I mentioned. But I definitely do think that if you're going to go ahead and use certain AirPods, I think these are pretty decent options. And, you know, these are definitely still one of the best AirPods you can buy. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.